Describe what AIDS is to me. Like, what, what do you think AIDS is? It's uh, acquired immune deficiency syndrome. It's uh, obviously it's a, a devastating disease triggered by HIV. Yeah. And immensely impactful to humans as we know it. Do you know when it started? I believe it originally started with late 70s, um, but really picked up with humans in the early 80s. Uh, do you know how it's contracted? Absolutely. Sexually transmitted diseases, blood transfusions, sharing of needles, drug use. Do you know uh, what like race or ethnicity affects the most today? Mm, my guess is those of African descent, um, probably the biggest and most impactful race because there is a lack of treatment and funding for those overseas. The disease called AIDS, Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, sounds less than deadly, more like a diet pill. AIDS has struck only a reported 1,500 people, but it has killed almost 600 of them, and as yet no one with AIDS has been cured. A puzzling new disease has appeared in the past couple of years that is spreading rapidly among homosexuals, and it is a disease that is fatal. Do you are raising the possibility that people are dismissing it because it strikes mostly the gay community? There is no question in my mind, if this were happening to you and the white, straight, middle-class community, it would have been attended to a long time ago. Congress wants to know what to do about AIDS. Victims of the disease say the government has done nothing and has no plan to. Committee members were told that victims are often gay men or IV drug users, groups already discriminated against. Now it's 717 with a question, is the deadly disease AIDS now a health threat to the general population? The government today tried to reassure people that there's no evidence AIDS is breaking out into the general population. Assistant Secretary for Health, Edward Brandt. What's important is that there is no reason for panic among the general public. Kills people. It petrifies me because girls be hanging out with them. And one night they could be in the club having fun with their gay friend and give them a little kiss and go home with their AIDS on their lips. This tape concert aired on cable systems last month. Predictably, it did not receive rave reviews from the gay community. In protest, this record store in San Francisco's Castro District will no longer stock Eddie Murphy tapes and records. Murphy's manager says he's not anti-gay, but anti-AIDS. The gay plague, as AIDS has been called, is the center of a political storm. The moral majority claiming AIDS is God's punishment for the gay lifestyle. All this media attention and sympathy for these AIDS victims just really bothers me. Let's call a spade a spade. AIDS is a venereal disease, and the vast majority of its victims are a group of abnormal people with a very strange and unusual lifestyle. Cleve Jones and Mark Ostfield are homosexual, both victims of an increase in anti-gay violence that many contend is being fueled by fear of AIDS. That's what happened to Charles Howard, a 23-year-old homosexual from Bangor, Maine. He was attacked, pushed over a bridge, and drowned. Parents were afraid three brothers, Ricky, Robert, and Randy Ray, all hemophiliacs, would spread the AIDS virus they got from blood products. The Rays left Arcadia after their home burned in a suspicion. Now I understand the pain the corn guys went through.